freekeen.com. I got an email today that may be of some interest to those of you who are sort of observing observing the battle over transparency in New Hampshire. It's an organization called RightToKnowNH.org, and I think I've received some information from them before that I have thought was, you know, pretty important and passed it on to talk radio. They they provide some useful numbers and talking points to help uh, point out the lack of transparency that government has. Anyway, here's the here's the, uh, the message. A quote. If, uh, New Hampshire moves one big step closer to enforcing right to know. For immediate release, Concord and H, November 2nd, 2017. Citizens in New Hampshire currently have little recourse but to resort to the courts to enforce their right to know when public bodies withhold public information or violate open meeting laws. Today, New Hampshire took a big step forward in rectifying a situation that has ranked us 49th in the country for public access to information by the Center for Public Integrity. On Tuesday, October 31st, 2017, at the Legislative Office Building in Concord, the Legislative Commission to Study Processes to Resolve Right to No Complaints finalized its report for submission to the House, Senate, and Governor. It recommended the establishment of a Citizens' Right to Know Appeals Commission to oversee an ombudsman. The report states, in lieu of finding a petition in the Superior Court under Chapter 91A, the citizen may appeal to the commission, whose administrator will immediately refer the matter to the ombudsman. The ombudsman acquires and reviews materials, conducts interviews if necessary, and issues a ruling within 30 days following receipt of the party's submissions. Right to Know New Hampshire President David Saad, or Saad, it's spelled S-A-A-D, was one of the 13 study commission members. I'm very pleased with the outcome of the study commission. New Hampshire very much needs a way of resolving right to no complaints without putting citizens through the cost and burden of taking their case to Superior Court. I urge the legislature to support the legislation that will follow this report, and I firmly believe the costs of an ombudsman will be more than offset by savings to the citizens, court system, and public bodies. Unquote. Well, that's, that's not an unquote of the entire press release, but just an unquote of what David Saad had to say. Anyway, going on, continuing to quote the news release. Quote, Mr. Saad went on to praise the conscientious work of all the members of the study commission under the leadership of Chairman Senator Bob Gaida. All members worked very well together as we were united in our mission to develop a process to help citizens resolve right to no grievances faster, easier, and cheaper. We had very productive debates, which led, I believe, to a promising outcome if it passes in the legislature. Right to Know NH is a nonpartisan association of citizens committed to advancing government transparency. For a copy of the Commission's report, please visit our blog, righttoknownh.org. Contact David Sad. Unquote. Press release <laughs> concludes with a thoughtful unsubscribe from this list option which I will not use because they, I, they never abuse my email. So, it uh, looks like maybe if this goes through, we get an ombudsman and a commission, uh, as opposed to having to go to the courts and, and fight these things out if we have a problem with right to know. And we do, although it really, I'm not sure it's quite as bad as, as right to know sometimes uh, uh, paints it as, but the you know if you think about it like one of the problems that we have is that they try they're always trying to charge you a lot of money for copies of documents and so forth that seems to be the big thing in new hampshire there have been other states where you know people have been sued for trying to make uh you know freedom of information type requests uh, so I mean, really uh, everyone everyone who lives in new hampshire it seems like they're always complaining about how bad things are here and then they just forget how bad it is everywhere else but there really is a 
a report that has us listed as the 49th, you know, of, of all the states, like the second least transparent. It's, it's, you know, on paper, maybe, maybe we are. And if you look historically in New Hampshire, we had for a while this thing called the grievance, the redress of grievances com- committee. And uh, this, you know, it did cost taxpayers a little bit of money, and there was a lot of time that went into it as well. I got the impression it did more good than harm from having been, having sat through, you know, entire sessions of that thing, you know, all day long sometimes. I got the impression it was actually fairly useful. And that is, of course, why it was killed, <laughs> uh, you know, the next session when the Democrats came back into power. But, uh, you know, maybe this will be a little bit like that. If it, if it gets through, really, all this is is a recommendation. And the, the, the Senate, I mean, it's going to have to go all the way through, I assume, the Senate, the House, and the governor to get, to get uh, turned into reality. It might make it, you know, with... Uh, you know, especially if you look at the, 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 the governor, he seems to be generally sympathetic to these sort of symbolic moves toward freedom. And not, not so much always with the big picture, but it would, just off the cuff, I think it would surprise me if he didn't sign this. We'll see where it goes. Driving in circles around Central Keen, I hurl both insults angry and mean against the activists from free king uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free and even though they aren't hurting me I will hate them hatefully urging their appearance in the penitentiary Although that expense would be charged to me, I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.